you have to be willing to make a sacrifice of a current structure to replace it with a new structure of, but the new structure is a routine that's going to get you into something that's your goal, whether your goal is weight loss, maybe your goal is to make more money. So you're going to uh, have a new work schedule where you work more. Uh, maybe you have a work schedule where you're, you're, you're learning something, you're learning coding two hours a night. And <clears throat> th that's really what I'm getting at is that it's about sacrifice because you have to ch change the sacrifice sacrifice, I don't know if I'm saying it poorly, and you have to change your habit. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that setting big goals is what helps. I the more I go into it, I, I used to set big goals a lot. I used to set, okay, contact 100 people within the day, or, you know, bang out two articles, two video, like, you know, video, like, ever, like that's not what's going to get you to places. Because, like, we think about if we don't do, if we don't do this today, is you know we're not going to be where we want to be in a year. Yeah, that's not true. You you do a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, a little bit more tomorrow, and then slowly get into more and more as you go. Because you, it's like it's like a it's like a it's like a, it's like a rubber band. The first day you do ten you do ten things, but that rubber band is going to be very like tight, very tight. But if you slowly do one thing a day, you loosen up more. You go the easier it's going to get to continue and do these small tasks and small goals. Like, the, I'm, you know, as I told you earlier, I'm, start, I'm trying to do sm small goals. And as small goals go, then I'm going to go to the big goals. And I'm, as I'm seeing, it's been working out for me. So I'm sure it's working out for other people as well. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say I agree with you 100%. I think it's much better. Because also, I noticed that too, a lot of people fail because they say um, they set a huge goal. <laughs> And then they don't reach it and they go, this isn't working. You know, I, I started a podcast. Why don't I have 10,000 subs? Well, maybe it's because you set your goal way too freaking high. Um, so setting smaller goals, setting smaller goals is beneficial because they're easier to achieve each day. And then you feel the reward of achieving your goal. Would, would you rather meet your goal than not meet your goal? Yeah. You know, um, yeah. and that also reminds me, have you heard the saying of death by a thousand paper cuts? I have. You have. Um, so yes, essentially the idea, as played for the viewers, um, is that it's all the, so people think it's like, you know, one big thing is ring. It's, oh, you know, I go to a party on Saturday, so I'm not succeeding. It's all the little things that add up. All, all the, every time you, you check your phone for to watch three TikToks, every time you are texting somebody that's just, just for no reason, has nothing to do with your goals, you're just talking about, you know, the new Borat film, like, you know, it's, um, which by the way, I, I enjoyed, I don't know what you thought, I know it's anti-Trump, but uh, that's another point, but yeah, man, it's, it, the little things add up, the little things for, for the little things for massive negatives or for massive positives, they add up, so like you were saying about little goals, those little goals add up to the big goal, and the same happens in reverse, the little ne the negatives when you have all these little negatives you have a distraction a thousand phone checks per day you have to get off and you know go out to the store to eat for three meals a day instead of having food at home all these little things add up to your success or failure 